I'm loving my natural hair. Trying to keep you guys updated as much as I possibly can with my crazy busy schedule on how I'm doing with my hair ever since I cut it. You know, how the natural curls are forming and coming in. The new and different products that I'm trying. So, I'm trying to keep you guys updated as much as possible. And I want to try something different. I had tried the half wigs before and I really really liked how it turned out so I'm gonna be experimenting a little bit more with some half wig styles along with still you know putting products in my natural hair as well so I went and picked up this half a wig it's by equal it's the drawstring full cap half a wig and it's in the style of jerry curl number two so I'm excited to see what this is gonna do let me go ahead and open it up so you can kind of see the texture of it this this wig was $29.99 at just my local beauty supply store down the street and it's hard for me sometimes to really find wigs that really look natural that's not that expensive and I think that this one is going to be one that I really really like so let's see Okay, of course it comes with the net around it so wow yeah this looks really really natural you can see like the curl texture the curl pattern in it it somewhat looks like my hair my, my hair is tighter though a tighter curl than this so I'm excited to see how I can blend it and just make it look as natural as possible add some length onto my hair until my, my natural length comes through. So yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm gonna deep condition and everything like that, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna style, do a style with this wig, so. Keep watching. All right, I'm back. My hair is fully washed, fully deep conditioned. And what I did was just put some leave-in conditioner on it. That's it. That's the pattern of my curl right now with the deep conditioner. So I came back. And what I like to do is this specific routine when I'm doing half a wigs. Make a horizontal part across with enough hair in the front to where as though you can do maybe two big um, corn rolls in the front if you needed to. And then you can see I already did one French braid. I parted down the middle vertically. And I like to do two French braids. You can do more if you wanted to, but I just like this um, particular routine because it tends to really lay good underneath the wig. So you don't have to do a French braid either. You can do a corn roll if you don't know how to French braid corn roll it still works just the same I just find that the French braid helps it to just lay a little flatter than a corn roll but either way it's fine you'll still get the same result all right so I'll finish my two French braids and I like to do this also to help with the flatness just take the end of one of the braids and put it on the opposite side just pin it up with a, a bobby pin and the same thing with the other braid just take it to the opposite side pin the end with a bobby pin you don't have to do this step but this is just something that I like because um it just helps with the flatness once you put the cap on and so now I have all of that hair in the front and guys the parts don't need to be straight <laughs> it really does not matter like your parts can be as crooked it just it doesn't matter as you can see my parts was not all the way straight so then you're gonna separate that front piece by doing another horizontal part but still leaving enough hair in the front to where as though you can leave it out to blend it with the wig or you can put a corn roll or maybe two corn rolls in the front but just make sure you separate that now with that piece that's left out I'm going to just do a corn roll as you can see it's 
corner rolled all the way across and then I pinned that in the back of my two braids. Now I still have this hair out left in the front. Like I said with this hair, you can either leave it out to blend it with whatever type of half wig you have. Um, me, I'm going to do one braid. So I'm adding some Eco Style Coconut Gel to the front of my head to get the, the front laid. My little favorite brush, if you saw in my other hair video, this is the brush that I use to lay my baby hairs. But I can, I can also use it as a regular brush if I'm just, you know, brushing the front of my hair or the back of the hair. You want to get those little, little curls, little hairs, BBs, whatever you want to call them. You want to get the little back pieces up a little better. You can use a, a little brush to do that too. So now, with this one, I am going to do a corn roll. So I'm not going to do a French braid. This is going to be a corn roll. But, again, with the front piece, you could do either one too. You could do the French braid or you can do a corn roll. But I'm just going to do the corn roll. This is the final braid pattern that I like to use anytime I'm going to be putting on a half a wig. And sorry this product is blurry but it's called the Renewing Plus Argan Oil of Morocco Weightless Healing Dry Oil. I absolutely love this oil. It's very weightless, very light oil. But it also helps with frizzies, split ends, and it gives an amazing shine to your hair. Now I know I am putting on a cap so you really won't be able to see the shine except for in the corn roll. But make sure when you do put the cap on that you don't cover your two corn rolls that you made in the front. Just put it on enough to cover your French braids in the back. As you can see, it has two combs in the front and in the back of the wig. So with that top comb in the front, you're going to put that into the first corn roll that you made at the top. So that it can secure the wig. I love doing this because it definitely stays on. Then you can see the front corn roll is still out. And I just laid my, you know, my baby hair is down or whatever. That's what the wig looks like just on. You could wear it out. You could be ready to go. But for this particular style, I'm just going to pin down one side of it with some bobby pins. Alright, this is the final look. I hope you enjoy and find it easy enough that you could do this on your own. I wish you peace, love, success, and happiness. One love always. Mwah.